Welcome to this Steagle video, which demonstrates how to migrate your classic site to new Google Sites. Google has released the migration tool for personal consumer Google Sites. These are sites that are made with a personal Google account or a Gmail account, and they're not inside of a G Suite domain. These sites are easy to identify as they have forward slash site in the URL of the site. As you can see at the top of the site, you get a notification to say that this site is suitable to be migrated to new Google Sites. Sites that can't be migrated to new Google Sites, for instance, sites that use the news page, the announcements page, or the file cabinets page, these can't be converted to new Google Sites yet, as new Google Sites does not offer these page types. Let's see how the migration process works by starting it now. When you start the process, you go off to the admin section of your Google site, and you'll see there that we can convert to new sites. We have the option to share the new site with the same people, and we can start the process. Once you click start, this will start migrating your content over to a new Google site that's owned by the same account that you signed into when you start the process. At the moment, I'm signed in with my personal Gmail account. As you can see, it's only a small site for this demo and it does not take long to migrate the content. Once it has migrated, you can use the continue button and this will let you review the draft new Google site. Let's review that now. As you can see from the URL we've arrived at, this is a new Google site in the editor mode. And you can see that Google's requesting feedback on how well your site was copied. As you can see, there are various differences that you will find. The colors and the theme won't have been taken over to new Google Sites, as that's not something that is available in new sites. All you can do is use the themes that are provided. No matter what theme your site uses when it's migrated to new Google Sites, at the moment it will use the simple theme. My test migration only had one page, and so that page has been taken over. As you can see in the header section, we've had the page title added, but the header type is set to title only. So this will now give you the opportunity to then change how your site looks uh, by changing to a large banner and adding a background. If we compare each section, we can see here some text and an image has been made as its own section in new sites. The image again has been added to its own section. And we can see here that from the original site, I identified where these bits of content were. All three of these sections were in the top section of a three column page layout in classic Google Sites. We can see underneath that the three columns, the left column, center column and right column from classic sites have been put into one section, but each have their own text tile and the bottom section of the three column page layout was added to its own section in new Google Sites. As you can see, the process takes all of the text and all of the images over. And on some of the tests that we've done, we've had some image sizes that go over incorrectly, but you have not lost any content. You have not lost any images. So you can resize these and reformat them with what new Google Sites offers. If you're happy with the process and you then wish to publish the new Google site, you can use the publish button. And what you see will happen is the it will take on the address of the classic Google site. New Google sites, you, you normally have a view here instead of site. When we publish this site, it is going to take over this URL. So you will get all the traffic that was previously going to your previous site. You do have the option to create a completely new address if you want to, and your old site will not be affected. If you're happy with the conversion, made any edits that you want, you can use the publish button and this will then publish it to the new site. Again, you are warned that it will be replaced. Your old site will then be moved to the migrated section in classic Google Sites, which you'll be able to look there for 30 days. Let's finalize the publish. And once published, 
will then be able to view the site at the old classic site URL. Let's view that now. So now you can see this is the new Google site using the previous classic Google site URL. We hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. And you can see more new Google Sites videos at steagle.com.